What you conceive, what you expect, what you anticipate. It has nothing to do in that moment. It is not influenced by your philosophy. It is influenced by the nature that God has given it. The nature is to grow up. My, haven't you been touched by God in a great way? What happens when that grows up? When that faith grows up? When that joy grows up? When that life grows up? When that wisdom grows up, when that knowledge grows up, don't you know it's to grow up and the seed is greater than the ground that it's planted in? Christ in you is the hope of glory. The seed in you is the hope of great things. The testimony of your life is not you, the ground, but the testimony is that God's planted a little bit of himself in me. And look out, something's happening, and it's wonderful, and I can rejoice. The ground is forgotten. When the smallest little mustard seed begins to manifest God's glory, the ground becomes secondary at best. And what are we beholding in that moment? This little insignificant seed. The Word of God. The experience that you have with God. Some of you, you've written off the experience with God because you think... But I don't know how to pray very freely. And I don't know how to really get a hold of God and speak in ways that's going to impress others. And I don't have any special gift. Don't you have God in you? Don't you know that he's touched you? Don't you know that no matter how small that touch, if it's real, that's all that matters? If it's real, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be impressive what God has done in you, in your eyes. It's the Lord's doing. It will grow up. And when it grows up, you're going to see something you can't ignore. What if the ground said, I wish I had so much of God. I wish I had so much of God. All I got here is this little speck that entered into me. I wish I had so much of God. I hear that 